Good morning from Cairo. Well, that was a fun sleeper train. Um, again, not much worked in it. The cabinets wouldn't close and we couldn't turn the music or the aircon knobs because they just kind of fell off. Finally, just checked in. We're all about to meet in a couple of minutes downstairs to go to the Egyptian Museum, which is pretty much across the road, which is a really famous museum here in Cairo. It's where they keep all of the treasures that were found in the, um, in the pyramids and in the tombs that we went to see at the Valley of Kings yesterday. So we're going to shoot off soon and do that. Um, the, the view from the hotel room is nice. So here we are outside the Egyptian Museum and there's all of these like Egyptian things in the front garden. I'm not entirely sure what they're for. There's nothing here that really explains it. I'm guessing they're legit pieces of Egyptian I don't know, but this guy's got really big nipples. Really big nipples. This place is nuts. It's hard to hear the guide because other guides from different groups are like shouting and screaming in different languages. So I think I'm just going to take a bit of footage and just the highlights and do some text on the screen to kind of explain what it is because it's way hard for me to do commentary or even really record the guy and see what he's saying. Because like literally there's like 80 billion people in this, in this museum right now. To be honest, and everyone's gonna kill me for saying this, but I'm kind of getting really blase about all the, the stonework and the hieroglyphics, I think because I've seen so much of it for the past week. What I really wanna see is like mummies and jewelry and uh, different stuff. So hopefully that's coming up. The Rosetta Stone was the key that made it possible to translate hieroglyphics. Before it was discovered in 1799, no one could make sense of them. The meaning behind the symbols was long forgotten. But this stone tablet had the same message written three times, in Greek, Demotic and hieroglyphs. Because people already knew how to translate the first two languages, they could then start to decipher what the mysterious symbols found at temples and tombs throughout Egypt meant. But it still took ages to figure it all out. 24 years to translate the whole thing. Alright, we'll call it the Triads of King Ming Kao Ra. You remember that name? Yes. The owner of the third pyramid in Giza. Considered one of top five in the Egyptian Museum. How perfectly done. By the way, at that time, they, did, they know nothing about metals. They used to make tools out of stones to carve other types of stones. So this is all, or the, if you ask me what does it mean, 100% handmade, I would say these pieces we are seeing here. The tools are 100% handmade. The piece is carved also handmade. And that's about 4,500 of years old. And it's still like this. In 1922, Howard Carter managed to find the tomb of the Golden King Tutankhamun. Once he opened the door, the room was filled with a massive shrine, which is this one over here. But shortly, it turned to be just the outer example of total of four of them laid inside one another to protect four more sarcophagus laid inside one another. And then inside the fourth one, the golden mask of King Tutankhamun, 
to protect the mummy or the head of the mummy of the king. The throne of the king, the beautiful decoration of uh, of the throne, pushed the archaeologists to declare that's the most beautiful piece ever found in Egypt until his time, and we can say up until today. Look at you guys interpreting the hieroglyphics. Yeah, we know what we're talking about sometimes. Types of biscuits, <gasps> cookies. So, do we know what's down there? Um those things. Sarcophagi. Hashtag alien conspiracy. So how old is this mummy? They goes back to uh, 14, let's say 1400s of years BC. Those mummies were the um, mummies of Yuya and Thuya. I'm pretty sure I'm not pronouncing that properly. Um, but they're three and a half thousand years old, casually. And apparently they are King Tutankhamun's grandparents. So that's interesting. I just went and had lunch with a few of the guys at Felfel and had my first shawarma, 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 which to me just looks like a kebab just with like really thin pita bread that was kind of like rice paper. If you know what a shawarma or a shawarma is, then you're probably going to hate me for being so culturally ignorant. But it was yummy as hell. Yeah, this was a really great suggestion. So I found out why um, all the buildings look half done. And apparently they save on the tax if the building's not completed. So a lot of them don't complete them on purpose. To save money on taxes. I'll come back to the hotel room just to freshen up and we're gonna hit the markets. I really want to see the pyramids, but I don't want to go by myself. So yeah, I'm gonna leave my camera here so I can spend my last night in Cairo not looking like a typical tourist, but I'm gonna take my phone and just take some photos. <laughs>
Okay. When we got to Cairo, we actually stayed in the Holiday Inn, which was a different hotel than the one we're in now. We're at the Stein Burger, which is in downtown Cairo. Um, and because we had all of this winter gear, we left um, some of our luggage at the Holiday Inn. And now I was just gonna go and pick it up and bring it back to this hotel tomorrow, like the last day. But I've decided now that I'm, I am going to go to the pyramids a second time because I didn't really get to soak it in. When we were there the first day, there was just an insane amount of people trying to sell us stuff. And I was too busy saying no to those people and dealing with that instead of actually appreciating where it was. So I'm going to Uber it there again tomorrow. I think Tamara is going to come with me and maybe um, some other people and uh yeah do that before we fly out so i'm going to go and order an uber and go pick up the stuff now so how long does it take to get to mardi around 15 minutes 15 that's i thought it was about half hour 45 minutes that's nothing sometime it takes 40 minutes in the rush hour yeah but, but today because it's the day off right day yeah so it's uh, not a lot of traffic there. Oh, that's right. Friday's your weekend in Egypt, isn't it? Yeah, Friday, Saturday. Right. So I went down to the market before. What, what's that area, that whole area that's just a big market? Big market for what, sir? Um, oh, there's everything there. There's like a district that is all markets. I forget what it's called. It's near a mosque. Uh, uh, Khan al Khalili. Yes. Hussein. Yeah. Yeah, it's near you. El Hel El Hussein El Hussein Mosque. Azhar. Azhar. Azhar, it's better because it's easy. Azhar. I'm back with my luggage. Sure, sir. Not a million dollars. Only? <laughs> no. I know. I remember it. I'll, I'll email oh, it to only you. Only two million dollars. <laughs> one million. One luggage, one million dollars. One million? Two. Two million. Okay. What? It was kind of cool actually, just chatting with the Uber driver, driving through Cairo. Just chatting to him about the Arab Spring and what life is like living here. Um, and he hooked me up too. He, um, I got him to take me to a chemist because I'm starting to get a flu to get some tablets and stuff. So, big tip for that dude. Um, so yeah, I'm back at the hotel now. I'm going to go and order some room service, pack for tomorrow, and get stuff sorted. I did have grand plans last night. I was going to get up at 6.30 in the morning and have breakfast and go to the pyramids one last time. But no, no. I was starting to get a cold and I slept in until like 9 o'clock. So the next stop is Cairo Airport. Quite easily come back again. Yeah, I could come back again. I know what I definitely do and wouldn't do. I would definitely use Uber and on taxis and I would definitely not take the sleep train. <laughs> <laughs> bueno sera! We have made it to our own Airbnb. Gary's not feeling the best, so he's got his head over a bowl that hopefully some Arabic oils will do the trick. Welcome to Rome. <laughs> <laughs>